In this video, we are going to study what is osmosis process. Talking about the definition of osmosis, there are three main points which must be including in the osmosis definition. The first is the movement of water molecules across a semi-permeable membrane from a solution of less solute concentration or in other words high water potential to a solution of higher solute concentration or low water potential so osmosis is actually the movement of water molecules through semi permeable membrane from high water potential to the lower water potential in simple word the water potential mean how much water is present higher the water means high water potential lower the water means low water potential if you talk about the daily life example you can take a example of tap water at this point of the tap water the water molecules they are present in higher concentration or high water potential is present and here this is a filter present which we can say that it is a semi permeable membrane then as you open the tap the water starts from higher water potential and move towards the low water potential so to understand the concept of osmosis always remember the water molecules they will move from the high water potential to low water potential through a semi permeable membrane so when there is a high water potential present it means the water molecule is present in high concentration so this thing is obvious that solute concentration will be very low and vice versa whenever the water is present in low concentration or low water potential is present it means higher solute concentration is present so always remember this case that water low solute high water high solute low let's take this example in this example at this point this green part here is solute while blue one is water molecules at this part here we have low solute concentration and high water potential while here in this case we have high solute concentration and low water potential so according to our definition of osmosis the water it will move from high water potential to low water potential so water molecules they will start moving from this part to this part by the process of osmosis and here we have this semi permeable membrane to fulfill the definition of our osmosis so water will move from here through semi permeable membrane and it will enter into this part where low water potential is present or high solute concentration is present this process will go on until the equilibrium is reached equilibrium mean the solute concentration here and the solute concentration here as well as water potential here and water potential here are equal to each other to understand the rule of osmosis we can talk about the tonicity of solution the tonicity refers to the relative concentration of solute in a solution being compared always remember that tonicity will helps you to understand the concentration of solute when two solutions they are compared for example we have one solution and we have two solution so we can talk about okay okay this solution one has less solute and we can say okay this solution two has more solute similarly this solution one has high water potential as compared to solution two and solution 2 has low water potential as compared to solution 1 so tonicity will always compare the two solution there are three different terminologies which are used in this case the first one is hypertonic solution normally if you talk about uh, uh, daily life you say oh this person is very hyper hyper means that person is very active so active mean that person has too much energy so in case of hypertonic solution the solution has too much solute or that solution contains high solute concentration while low water potential is present here in this diagram 
this part here has high solute concentration and low water potential it means that this part is actually the hypertonic solution as compared to this solution the second terminology is hypotonic solution hypotonic mean that solution has low solute concentration or high water potential is present here this solution has low solute concentration and high water potential as compared to this ones always remember that these terminologies they are actually comparing the two solutions so in other word we have this solution which is hypertonic and this solution which is hypotonic the third terminology is isotonic solution iso means same so the solutions when the two solutions which are compared have equal concentrations of the solute so that solution is called isotonic solution for example solution one and solution two both have same number of solutes and same number of water molecules so they both are isotonic solution so that was all about what is osmosis process